If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got quite a few exciting things. We got the Rising Stars. Those are here. We haven't had those in a while, guys. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Pretty much young. It's, it's usually just young players who've had an impact in the NFL that are showing that they're going to be stars in the league at some point or already are stars. So that, that's been around for a long time, but they didn't, I haven't seen it recently. As well as, guys, we had some updates to headset seasons, updates to Mutt Draft. We got a new mode in head-to-head. -head. I'm going to go over all that in just a second, guys. But, of course, before we get into the video, guys, if you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, you guys know the deal. All you got to do is comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video, be subscribed, of course, and turn on that noti bell. Now, for today's shout out goes to Ronaldo Gonzalez. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I do appreciate you for commenting and taking your time out of the day to watch these videos. Now, moving on, guys, we're getting to the rising stars. Now, if you do like anything you guys see, I'll go over the updates in a little bit afterwards. I'm gonna go over the uh, the, like, the title update updates in a second after I do the rising star players. But if you guys do like any of the cards you see and you need some training, you want to buy those cards directly or get coins for them, head over to my reserve down below. Coins and training are even more discounted. If you use code pool to get an additional 15% off. And of course, you can always buy the players directly on there as well or the training necessary for them. So if you want to go that route, you can as well. So let's head on down to Rising Stars. We do have five, I believe. Start off with the Orlando Brown right tackle for the uh, Ravens. And these cards are pretty, pretty good. Not going to lie. And the card art's awesome, guys. I think I'm going I'm to turn off my face cam real quick so you guys can see the card art on these cards real quick. Now, these card arts are super, super cool. Now, he did buy out. So let's actually start with James Conner. Uh, look at it real quick. Get an idea for it. It's super awesome. Now, going on back, James Conner, 89 overall, going over to attributes, 87 speed, 89 excel, 81 agility, 88 carrying, 67 catching, 81 change of direction, 86 tackle, 87 break tackle. Now, I think this card's horrible. Now, again, James Conner, I knew this from the second I saw him. They always make him slow. He's always a well-rounded, slow running back. I don't know why they do that to him. I don't think he's that slow in real life. But James Conner, 87 speed is not going to be usable. Now, of course, if you do chem him up and everything, now, he can all be powered up, so... Can only keep him up. He's not gonna be anything. He's not gonna be anything special, in my opinion. Skip the James Conner unless you have a Patriots team. I'm oh, not sorry. Whew, a Steelers team team, and go ahead and go that route. But for my opinion, James Conner is gonna be a, uh, a pass on my end. I'm definitely gonna be sticking to a few other guys. Now let's check out Cortland Sutton again. Kind of like a wide receiver of James Conner. You can power him up and keep him up. He's gonna get to an 89 speed, 91 jumping, 89 catching, 80, 90 catching traffic, 90 spec. So he's gonna have all the catching thresholds for the most part. He's going to end up with 86 short route running, 84 medium, and 80 deep. So he's not going to get any route running thresholds. None. He's going to get none. So I don't know. In my opinion, I think you skip out on Cortland Sutton. Also, again, I like the other players. I think you skip out on Cortland Sutton. I don't think he's honestly all that great. He is, of course, 6'3". He can catch. I mean, if you want him as a red zone guy or, again, you are a Broncos themed team, of course, then there's use for him. But in my opinion, on a regular team, I don't see him making the squad. Cool they brought this back. I just wish they didn't include those two. But moving on from them, we got Sean Murphy Bunting, who's actually pretty solid. Now, you can't power him up as well, but you can chem him up. So he's 92 speed, 91 excel, solid. 93 jumping, 80, 83 play rec, 86 man, 83 zone, and 85 press. So the only way you make this card usable, oh, well, good, I should say, not usable. He's usable regardless. He's also a pretty good budget uh, card if he's below 100k with a 92 speed. If you max out lockdown, 50 out of 50, whatever it is, if you get that on them, he does end up hitting the man threshold, and I believe near or hitting the press threshold. So if you get to that, guys, he's practically Denzel Ward LTD, but only and only if you get to that. You're going to need to get all the way up there. Uh, you're going to need to lock down max out. If you do get that, though, guys, it's a pretty insane card if you can get the press and man threshold, or at least just the man, because man is the meta right now with that 92 speed, 6 feet tall. He's going to be super good, of course. And let's see. And he has 89 change of direction. So, again, that's really good as well. Uh, again, I think he's a really good card. I just think he has to be chemmed up all the way. But if you do get it all the way up there, guys, he is a super solid card. Now, for the two I'm more excited about, Orlando Brown is a really good right tackle. Now, again, maybe not compared to some of the other best right tackles right now, but 90 strength, 89 awareness, 87 pass block, 88 pass block power, 85 pass block finesse, 88 run block, 89 run block power, and 86 run block finesse. He can be powered up, so that automatically is an 88 run, uh, pass block, 89 pass block power, and 86 pass block finesse course chemmed up and everything he's gonna hit the pass block power threshold close on the pass block now the running he's gonna hit almost every threshold his run block will hit it with zone run his pa run block power will be above 90 with zone run and his run block finesse will be a little bit low but well, he's a very well-rounded uh tackle he has 90 strength as well of course which is super important and i do want to see his speed and some of his other stuff that he does have to see if he's anything kind of like he's 80 lead block which i guess is decent nothing crazy 92 impact blocking is really good 
Now I can't find his speed. Oh, there it is, 49 speed. Okay, so no, he is not going to be fast by any by any means necessary. Now if you compare it to my Lane Johnson, if you compare him to the, I only have the 87. If you actually powered up Lane Johnson all the way, he's gonna be stronger than Lane Johnson, similar awareness, better pass blocker than Lane Johnson. Those gonna be close. He's a better pass blocker well all around and a better run blocker than Lane Johnson. So the only thing that's gonna be, that's only gonna be better on the upgraded Lane Johnson, he's gonna be very similar. They're gonna be very similar cards. So it comes down to if you want more speed or slightly better pass blocking and strength. That's kind of what you gotta decide there if you wanna go him. And if not, of course, there's other guys' options too. Now, moving on from him onto the final guy, which is the best of the bunch, that's Derwin James. Now, we're gonna talk about Derwin James here. He's super, super solid. Again, guys, Derwin James is everything you want a safety. Six foot two, 215. So he's got the power, he's got, he's got the height, he's got the strength. He's at 89 speed. And of course, he can be powered up. 91 is Excel, 81 tackle, 87 play rack, 85 pursuit, 85 man, 87 zone, 88 hit power. So remember this, if you do power him up, right? He's gonna have powered up and chemmed up, right? To combine this all, 90 speed. Great, Isaiah Simmons level. 92 excel, amazing. 82 tackles, fine. With chems, everything, he will have a 90 plus play rec threshold. 86 pursuit, that's still fine. He'll end up having a 90 man if you end up getting every above 90 man if you get a zone, a lot of lockdown, and him powered up all the way max and everything. He'll have above a 90 zone and he'll have an 89 hit power. So he will be simultaneously one of the best hitters, coverage, man, anything. And if you compare it to my um my Tyra Matthew, he beats him just about everywhere. And again, the zone and man will they'll both be threshold, so it doesn't matter. What really matters here is gonna be faster, he's gonna be taller, better excel, better tackler, and way better hit power. And Isaiah Simmons, of course, he beats him just about everywhere besides speed. But again, you can't power up Simmons, so they end up tying in speed. They end up tying in Excel, and he beats him by a lot everywhere. Now, the thing is, you can use your Simmons. So in my opinion, what I would do, I would rock, probably rock all of them, Tyra Matthew, Simmons, and Derwin. You could actually rock Derwin as the nickel, a nickel corner, or you could rock him as a linebacker. I would put Derwin James can either be a linebacker, a safety, or a nickel corner. I would probably keep Simmons as your linebacker, as your usual linebacker. And then move Tyra Matthew to the nickel and then move Derwin James to the safety or vice versa put Tyra at the safety and put Derwin James in the nickel corner any of those will work but I think this is definitely a card you do need on your team and he's super super cheap guys 137k and I know that's not even the cheapest right now though I don't know if I'd buy them this exact second I would probably wait a little bit as they're going to keep getting pulled out of packs they're going to because people are going to keep buying out these Derwin James because he is one he's one of these a good drop 122 is a solid price but again I don't think he's going to be at 150 because training doesn't say he should be at 150 he should definitely be around the line of those other cards. So I guess we'll wait and see, but it's up to you guys when you want to buy them. Just let, let me know down below if you do end up picking them up. But that's about it for that. Let's get over to the updates and show you guys that stuff real quick. Real quick for the update. Madden Voice for last Thursday. Title updates, open for feedback. A much draft update. Players to be added today. Team of the week. Um, what is that? September 15th and the week of September 22nd, which I think is week one and two will be added. And then we have Legends from the 19th of September and the 26th of September being added to it. And of course, the 50, the launch 50, which was like the Brian Dawkins. And the Jimmy Graham and the Reggie Bush and those guys, Walter Jones, um, those will be added as well. So the Mutt Draft's getting a bunch of new content if you guys do. Or if you guys are Mutt Draft people, you do that coin method. There you go. And then the MCS competitive heads head events. So this is the new head to head mode, identical to head to head season with same rewards, but it has all Madden difficulty, which I don't know how important that is to you guys. But what it comes with is there's no previous play. So you can't see the previous play of your opponent, which for a lot of people who play competitive, that's probably awesome because then they, it will be harder for them to really work what you're doing. I don't know. Up to you guys now. And faster kick meter, which is cool as well, because again, it makes it harder and field goals aren't guaranteed. Kick arc preview, not visible. Again, uh, no run blocking, box count, visual, and coach cam. Higher fumble chance on tackles, hit sticks, or scrambling QBs. So just don't scramble with your QB. Make sure you're sliding down. You will fumble a lot. This week, there's no weekend league qualifier as well, which does mean for all you guys who didn't play weekend league last week, or you didn't qualify for the following weekend league, or you didn't, you don't like playing qualifiers, or you've never played weekend league. Uh, any of the above, it will be open to everyone. So if you're a guy who just started with a 60 overall team, you can play and compete this weekend. I recommend you do. Either way, if you come in there and you even win a game or two, or even just if you get some coins and packs. And then solo battles will be addressed in phase two of solo battles on Wednesday. And this is on PS4 and PC. So if your Xbox guess doesn't relate to you, and there will be a make right for the people who weren't packed on PS4 and PC. But that's about it for the video, guys. Again, shout out to Reynaldo Gonzalez for being part of the Poodle Squad. If you guys want a chance to shout it out, Noti Gang, turn on that Noti Bell, comment down below Poodle Squad, and like the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to be announced. And that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off and take advantage of being able to get the training players and everything on there. If you want all of them, go ahead, knock yourself out, get all the training open packs. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.